Tonight hearing for the Subcommittee on Health will now come to order. Today we'll, we will be discussing the VA's amputation system of care and the services provided to veteran amputees. At VA, prosthetics include a wide range of devices from eyeglasses to hearing aids to prosthetic limbs. If I could manage to turn the page. Although our main focus today will be on amputee prosthetics, I want to highlight the VA's recent failures related to purchasing and budgeting for prosthetics. In July, committee staff visited the Rocky Mountain VA Medical Center in Colorado and discovered that thousands of prosthetic orders had been improperly canceled. As a clinician, I was appalled that this could happen, and it is clearly unacceptable. Earlier this month, I was informed that the VA's claimed budget shortfall for healthcare which they argued was related to the cost of prosthetics was a huge exaggeration. If the VA can't even budget correctly for prosthetics and routinely cancels orders, how can veterans, especially those living with the visible wounds of war, trust that they will receive the prosthetics they need? We cannot and should not accept this as status quo. Prosthetic care is essential to the bedrock of VA's mission. This means assisting veterans with regaining functionality and working to improve their quality of life after limb loss as a result of their service in uniform. Each year, VA sees approximately 95,000 new amputations, primarily due to vascular disease or diabetes. However, VA also treats a significant number of post-9-11 veterans with combat-related amputations. As veterans' needs evolve, it is the VA's responsibility to provide the highest quality of care and advances in research to meet those needs. VA services vary across its facilities, but its seven fully equipped regional amputation centers can offer comprehensive care from prosthetic fabrication to full inpatient rehabilitation. These centers should set the standard for world-class care for prosthetics, and in many cases, they do. VA's amputee care serves nearly 100,000 veterans annually, with many receiving exceptional care. However, the committee has heard of significant delays in veterans receiving their prosthetics. For one example, one veteran recently told my team that he has spent over a year waiting for a functional prosthetic leg. For 10 of those months, as you can see here, he had to rely on duct tape to hold his prosthetic together. Since March of 2023, he has been forced to travel out of state every three months for appointments. Despite these repeated trips, there is still no timeline for when he will receive his new prosthetic limb. Now, it shouldn't take a congressional hearing for him to hear back from the VA or for the VA to respond to this veteran. And he should receive the latest state-of-the-art updated prosthetic limb now, ASAP. Veterans depend on these devices for their daily lives, and waiting for years for a prosthetic limb, socket, or terminal device is unacceptable. I expect we're going to hear similar stories today. Like other VA offices, VA's amputation centers face understaffing and are often riddled with bureaucratic inefficiencies. These challenges, exacerbated by the Biden-Harris administration's poor leadership and staffing decisions, are uniquely devastating to veteran amputees. These bureaucratic delays not only impact veterans' physical health, but they also take a toll on their mental well-being, resulting in more time in healthcare facilities and less time spent with their families, enjoying life, or advancing their careers. As a veteran and a physician, I know we can do better. In addition to these issues, veterans face barriers in accessing adaptive prosthetic limbs and terminal devices for sports and recreational activities devices that can be life-changing. The committee has heard numerous stories of veterans being denied these adaptive prosthetics. That's why I recently introduced HR 9478, the Veterans Supporting Prosthetics Opportunities and Recreational Therapy Act, or the Veterans Sport Act. This bill would ensure these adaptive prostheses and terminal, terminal devices are defined as clinically necessary for veterans living with limb loss. I am committed to working with the VA to ensure we provide our veterans with timely, high-quality prosthetic care that they deserve so that they have access to what they need to live, the most fulfilling life possible, and the most fulfilling work. During today's hearing, we'll delve deeper into these issues, hear from witnesses, and work towards common-sense solutions. 
Thank you all for being here, and I look forward to a productive discussion on this critical topic.